I'm Andy, and this is my husband, Shem. I'm Maya. I'm Tala. This is our family. I came here for the first time, it was actually the first time I ever seen the ocean or a palm tree when I was 11 with my youngest brother and parents. I was just shocked that a place like this existed and when I, we flew away I remember seeing it disappear in the clouds and just felt like that's a life I'll never see again. Life continues on that island and I'll never get to be a part of it and it broke my heart. And I would walk to school on these huge snow banks because I'm from um, Saskatchewan, which is in Canada. And I would just look at the sun dreaming like that's the same sun in Hawaii. I want to be in the sun there. I was eventually accepted to a school here in Hawaii. I came here for university. We met pretty shortly after, almost 11 years ago, and we're still here. And when we did first meet, there was never an idea we want to raise our kids somewhere else. Hawaii always felt like it has this special feeling to it that we always knew we wanted to raise our kids here because of the feeling here and the environment and the beauty. It's, it's such, a, such an awesome place to, to raise children, and they're just genuinely so happy. Usually all the time. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people ask what makes you happy or how do you find happiness and I actually think that it relies a large part on what you do in your kitchen because the way you eat is what we found is what is really fueling your life. For us as individuals and even for our kids, if we feel healthy and you have energy and your hormones are right and you're not moody and everything else like that and your mind's alert, you think differently and you interpret life and situations all encompassing differently because of the way of how your body's and your mind's processing it. And so that is a huge motivation to be nurturing our kids because we see the way they eat affects the rest of their life. Starting the day off with a good healthy breakfast is just the first step to a good day ahead and just fuels their fun life and all their ideas that they want to do every day. We really look at what are the simplest things that, that make us happy and really go after those things and keeping our life simple. We try to end each day with some kind of activity and doing something collectively where we're all experiencing that moment together as a family. Being able to travel as a family and see different places all over the world makes each place so much more special. Every chance we get, that's what we're doing usually at night, is looking for some cheap airline ticket <laughs> somewhere in the world and trying to justify why we should do it. We've been really lucky to be able to work out our family dynamic all over the world. It's really about finding what you want and to have your life reflect that and just to go for it. In our case, it's what we want as a family and what makes us happy. And just really appreciating what we have in front of us and making the best of every situation. And knowing life's crazy and it's not perfect and that's okay. And if you do it together and just find the positivity in everything, it's gonna be awesome and you're gonna be excited about it.